I'm just going to give everyone a few minutes to come into the room here. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I appreciate it so very much. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the advantages of a monarch size planner and show you this new planner, which is now in the shop. Now, before I get started, let me let you know that you can save money with discount promo code TANYAPLANS20 and all orders placed within the next 48 hours. Or uh, if you placed the order recently and it just hasn't shipped yet, you will get a free uh, planner item in your order. It's going to be a, a little surprise for you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I wanted to jump on and talk about the advantages of a monarch size planner. So what is a monarch size planner? So here is an example of a checkered binder. And this is actually what is new in the shop. We have this checkered binder, for example, in actually three sizes here. So this, there is the largest size, the monarch size. Then there is the classic size. And I'm doing my best to get everything in frame here. And then we have the compact size. So we have, if I can set this up here, we have the monarch size, the classic size, and the compact size. And what is new in the shop, this is the first time I've ever carried the monarch size. And one of the hardest things to do sometimes when you're trying to choose a planner is choosing which size planner you should get. Because you're like, oh my gosh, am I going to have enough room? Is it going to be big enough? Is it going to be small enough? Those are all questions that we ask ourselves when we are about to purchase a binder. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some advantages of a larger binder. So the Monarch binder is, let me show you here. The advantage of the, the first thing, the size is big enough so you can fit a full sheet of paper. This is just a Form 1040. And if you're from the United States, you recognize this form. This is uh, how most of us complete our tax returns. But the Monarch size, the advantage is that a full size sheet of paper can fit in this binder. You don't have to fold it. You don't have to do all that. A full size sheet of paper. So the first advantage to this size of a planner is that it's bigger so you can actually see everything. If you get a smaller planner, of course, the, the font, everything may be smaller. And I know with me, the older I get, uh, the, the more trouble I have with seeing for some reason. And my eye doctor said that's natural, you know, with, with getting older is that you um, sometimes have, you don't see as well as you did when you were younger. So I can appreciate larger print. And so that is an advantage of a larger binder like this. And I have some other advantages I want to talk about. Let me go ahead and show you this binder up close. So this is the checkered binder. This is the spine. This is the back of the binder here. And it has a snap closure with light gold hardware. And when you open the binder here, there are two elasticized pen loops so it can accommodate larger and smaller ink pens. You have a pocket here that goes all the way down. Here you can stick in receipts. You can slip in, slip in uh, stickers, other sheets of paper, reminders, sticky notes. You have a zippered pocket here that's gusseted, meaning that it expands out. You can put paper clips and small things in there. Then there is a section here where you can put in um, pieces of paper here behind the card slots. You have seven card slots here, and you have an ID card slot window. And a lot of people like to use the ID card slot window to put their ID in, if you like. So you can put something there in that see-through card slot. And then on the back here, on the back cover, you have additional pockets. You have a large pocket here and four smaller pockets here. Okay. Now, the ring configuration is nice. It is, uh, like I said, all the hardware is light gold. 
and the ring size is 1.25 inch rings. And that is the inner diameter of the ring size. This is the largest size that you can get in a Monarch size binder. Most of the Monarch size binders that I've seen are one inch, but with this binder, you get 1.25 inch rings. So you get a little more space there. Also with this binder, um, and let me oh, also say about the rings. The rings are removable. You can see the screw there. So the advantage of removable rings is if this ring mechanism wears out, you don't have to buy a whole new binder. You can simply replace these rings, and I sell the replacement rings in my shop. But that's the great thing about removable rings such as this. Now, there are seven rings here, and I'm going to tell you more about that in a moment. But I wanted to show you what else you get with this binder. You also get a clear page lifter. It's hard and sturdy, so it's suitable for writing on. You also get this. This is really, really nice. You get a zippered pouch fly leaf. And, oh my gosh. Look how nice this looks. And is zippered. That's how the inside looks. Let me make sure I lift this up so all platforms can see. And on the back of the zippered pouch are card slots if you want to use those. So you have lots of room for storage. Also, I wanna show you this. This is a ring protector that is included. So when you are storing your binder, the ring protector helps protect it from ring dents. Sometimes we get those ring dents. And I really don't mind, but some people do because, you know, when you're purchasing a planner, you're making an investment in yourself. So this is how you use the ring protector. This is a frequently asked question I get. So you just take and put the ring protector in like this. And I like to use this when I store my binder. I don't use my ring protectors when my planner pages are in because it adds to bulkiness, but that is how the ring protector looks. So when you close your binder, see, when you close your binder, the rings can't touch the side of your binder, okay, because the ring protector is there. So it's protecting your binder from ring dents, okay? So this is more for storage. You would just put this aside until when you want to put your binder up to, you know, and to maybe use another binder. I like to switch out binders from time to time. So it's, that's helpful for storage purposes. Now, let's talk about another advantage to the Monarch size. So again, if you have a large 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, it's going to fit in here. So an advantage is you don't have to fold a piece of paper. Like if you're in a type of profession or you get a whole bunch of full page pieces of paper, you may not want to fold it all the time to put it in your planner. You may want to just keep it straight. And sometimes, you know, you don't need to fold the papers that people give you. Maybe it's going to be passed on to someone else and it won't look professional with fold lines. So you might want to be able to keep your planner, your pages uh, off the full eight and a half by 11 without folding them. So an advantage with this binder is that you can put full size eight and a half by 11 inches sheets of paper in the binder here. See how that fits? So this might be something that teachers like, certain professions may like, that you can do that. Or of course, you can get the Monarch hole puncher and punch holes in it. And it can just go in your binder. And again, you don't have to fold. Now, if you're the type of person, now I'm about to show you the planner inserts that I offer with this in the shop, but I'm gonna show you the planner inserts. I'm gonna go through those at the end of the video in case you just wanna see this and you need to jump off. Hopefully you won't, hopefully you'll stay with me. But um, I wanna show you too that if you make your own planner inserts, because some people do, if you make your own planner inserts, you don't have to worry about reducing the size so it will fit your binder. You can keep it at a 100% scale and go ahead and just print your planner pages and put them in. So that's certainly an advantage for those who have special needs with planner inserts. 
So the third advantage, I've already listed two, which is um, the first one is that it, it's a bigger binder. It's easier to see if, if it's easier on the eyes. When I look at this, I'm just, it just feels, I'm like, oh, I breathe out because I'm like, oh, I have so much room. I have enough room to do everything. So one advantage is that it's big enough for you to see. You have larger font with this size and that you don't have to fold pages to put it in here. So a third advantage is I think this size is great for people that need to take a lot of notes. You just need a lot of space and you just need a full size sheet of paper. Then this is the monarch size is a good size for that. Now, I will also add that it is great for people that leave their planner on their desk or at home. Because of its size, you would want to think about how you would port this, okay? So if you need portability, of course, I would recommend a smaller planner. But if you don't mind, maybe you have a tote bag that can fit a full-size planner, um, but I mostly like to use this at home. I actually use this for my social media planner. I plan what I'm going to put on social media. And I love just all of the space that I have. Because if I'm talking about a post, I have lots of space to write that post. So let me show you how this planner looks with the planner inserts. First, I'm going to uh, put in my clear page lifter here. Now, these are the planner inserts that are available in the shop. Let's put these in here. can't see I will pick this up in a moment so you can see so I'm gonna put these in here and just because I'm on camera you know things okay and let me get my tabs now, with these planner pages, the tabs come with them. These are waterproof tabs with the months on the front and back here. They're very minimalistic. And my planner pages are minimalistic. And it's because of my eyes. Uh, a lot of designs and stuff can compete with the handwriting on the page. And I prefer a very simplistic design with my planner. So this is how this looks and the planner here so you have your monthly tabs and like i said i'm gonna go over the planner pages at the very end here which i'm almost done but i wanted to show you something else in the shop um, we sell these sticky notes and i'm about to do a video on how to use these sticky notes but i call these the essential sticky notes because i feel it's everything you need all in one place um, sometimes I don't want to get a whole bunch of different little teeny sticky notes from everywhere. I like to have them all here. But the advantage about these sticky notes too is that there is an area where you can punch holes in these sticky notes. And that's what I've done with this set. So I wanted to show you how this would look in the binder. So you have a couple of ways to use this. You could um, use these and just put them in the flap back here if you like. And so it will look like that in your binder, okay? Or you can use it hole punched like this. I punched holes in it. And you can place it in the binder like this. Very neat, everything you need all in one place. So now I'm going to show you quickly the planner pages that you get. So you get a lot. I mean, you look at all the accessories that you get. You get the pouch, you get the clear page lifter, you get the ring protector. If you get the inserts, 
if you elect to get the inserts, you get the tabs and in addition to the inserts in one package. So I'm going to quickly go through these planner inserts. So you get a page with uh, two annual calendars so you can plan out in the future. This is uh, six months across two pages. I like to plan my cycle information on here, another womanly stuff. You get two pages of these, which equals a whole year. You get a notes page here. You get a monthly overview that looks like this every month. So you get this every month. And you may have seen on my social media how I use this. You can plan for the month in advance. So I like to put different areas here, like personal, work, children, and then plan what I want to do or accomplish for the month ahead of time. Let me lift this up, make sure everyone can see here. Just so you know, I have three cameras going. I'm going live on three platforms. So I have to remember to make sure all platforms can see. Oh, let me cover this up because I... This is the planner I actually use. I have some social media plans in here, but let me show you. Uh, this page, okay. So this is how a full month looks. Oh my gosh, it is a ton of information. It's a ton of space, okay? So if I get my ruler here, in one block, you have over you have 1.75 inches to write in one block. That's a lot of writing space. And you have some light horizontal lines. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me try to put it up close. There's some light horizontal lines there to help keep your handwriting straight. So that is the format every month. On the back, you have a list so you can put this, you can use this as a master list. And then it starts over your monthly overview page, your two month, two page monthly spread and your list. So let's go through. Okay, so the next thing, and on these pages, by the way, are holidays and moon faces. Then you get these vertical pages here. Okay, so you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, Saturday and Sunday share a column and you have your moon phases and holidays on here so you have that and then let me quickly go the next section you have horizontal pages if this is what you prefer you have this format here i like to use these for journaling these pages are undated where the other ones are dated and then you have a whole bunch of notes pages. So here you can just take notes or you can use this as a list and then you just check off the items. Let's say you wanna use this as a shopping list. You can just check off the items like that. And you also get in the same package now, you don't have to buy all this separate, you get dot grid pages. I'm gonna put this up close. I was looking at the video that I did a couple of weeks ago. I said, oh gosh, I should have put things up closer because sometimes everything don't come through on the video camera. So you get dot grid pages, which are perfect for mind mapping, or if you need to draw some plans, like I was adding an addition, trying to add an addition to our home. We were doing some planning. And the nice thing about dot grid pages is that you can make a perfect shape and not have to use a ruler because you're just connecting the dots. You also get a Monarch um, size habit tracker, a monthly habit tracker here. See that? So how this works is, and I'm gonna do a separate video on this as well. You have the month here, and then you can list, like let's say you wanna walk every day. You can list that and just check off the days that you actually do it. So this helps you keep track of your habits and to make sure you're doing everything that you intended to do. And then finally, you have some future planning pages here. So sometimes in your planner, there are days that, um, you know, your planner may end in a certain day and month, and you have nowhere to put 
future stuff. So here's where you can list stuff out for 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027. And that is where it ends. So that is a quick overview of these pages. And again, all of this is available on my site at tanyaplans.com. And let me see if there are any, I don't see any questions, but I appreciate everyone watching. I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I wanted to show you? I don't, oh, oh, yes, there is something. Another advantage of, about the Monarch binder is that, you know what, the other binders, you have to buy storage um, files to keep your planner pages. Well, with the Monarch binder, you don't. You can use any three ring binder. I just took this from my bookshelf, but here's a three ring binder that I just had around the house. And let me show you how you can store your planner pages in any three ring binder, which you can pick up from anywhere. So let me just demonstrate that. Just take a few of these out so I can show you if you want to just store the pages somewhere else. Just move this to the side. So any standard three ring binder here. I'm just just show you these are these these rings are huge. <laughs> these are D rings. And I think I don't know how many inches they are, but they are huge. But see that how you can store your planner pages. You don't have to buy anything separate to store excess planner pages. Any three ring binder will do. Um, so this binder is compatible. Let's say you don't like my inserts. I hope you do. But if you don't like my inserts, you can, these inserts are compatible with Franklin Covey's um, Monarch size planner insert. So if you prefer their inserts, this binder is compatible with the Franklin Covey Monarch size inserts. It is also compatible with Daytimers folio size inserts day timers, folio size inserts. And all of this is in the listing on the website at tanyaplans.com. So if you have any questions, don't worry about it. it. It should all be clear there on the site. So are there any questions? Do you plan to create a variety of planner inserts? Um, well, do I, um, I got a question. My daughter's helping um, look at the comments while I'm live here. And I got a question. Do I plan to create a variety of planner inserts? Uh, eventually, yes. Um, the thing is, I'm a very small shop. Very small. I'm not the size of those bigger companies that, you know, that you're probably used to dealing with. And they have more resources. And honestly, um, I have to limit I have to decide and limit what I'm going to do because of resources. I, I'm just not the size of the bigger companies. And um, so the more, you know, inserts that I create, it takes, and this is more of a, from a business point of view. Um, one, I mean, it's very difficult to create inserts. There cannot be mistakes on inserts. And it's very difficult because of I'm a one woman show. I do everything myself. So to create another planner, yes, I do plan to create more planner pages, but it was hard for me be, to create these because I had to decide on one thing I could do right now. And I felt these minimalistic, this minimalistic design was what I would appreciate. And that's why I let you know about you can get other planner inserts from those other companies. If you don't like these, I hope you love them. Um, but if you don't, that they, they certainly have a different variety of sizes because they're bigger and they can afford to do so. Hopefully that, I, that makes sense. Any other questions? My daughter's looking at the comments here. I appreciate y'all so much for taking the time this morning to um, look look at this. And I, um, at the time of this video is Mother's Day. So I just wanted to say happy Mother's Day to those who that is applicable to. 
And um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and get ready to leave this live. If you have any questions, you can certainly message me um, through any platform. And uh, I also have a way you can contact me on my website at tanyaplans.com, which is the format I, I really prefer because it's hard hopping back and forth between all the platforms and answering everyone's questions. Any other questions? Again, you can save money with promo code TANYAPLANS20 and any orders placed within the next 48 hours will receive a free planner gift. Okay, thank you guys and I hope you have a good day.